Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to this week of our English 101 class. We have fully finished with Project 1. We've reflected on our process, and now we are jumping in with both feet to Project 2. Uh, you've already done some great posts on uh, genre discussions. I'm really excited to read through those, and Sydney's engaging with those as well. Uh, tomorrow, you're going to have those peer responses due, so make sure you're reading through your classmates' work and engaging with their material. Uh, we do have our uh, primary research, which is the initial interview for Project 2. That is due on the 14th. So the most common issue that comes up for people with Project 2 is that they do not get their interviews done on time. And this is obviously a very huge issue because you can't successfully write your draft without having that interview completed. So today is Monday. This is due on Thursday. Uh, so reach out to the person you need to interview. If you haven't already gotten that interview done, please make sure you get it scheduled and completed before Thursday at midnight. Um, don't just like send one DM and hope for the best. Like if you're working with uh, somebody on Instagram and you're like, please, can I do an interview with you? And then just send off one message and like hope that maybe they get back to you um, because they might not. You might have to send multiple DMs. You might have to find alternative ways to reach out to people. Uh, if they're not available, the words are hard. If they're not available for a Zoom interview or an in-person interview or an over-the-phone interview, as a last resort, you can try and do an email interview. Like, reach out, problem solve, make sure you get in contact with this person and get all of that data that you need before the 14th at midnight because that's a really important deadline for us. You need that material in order to successfully complete your draft of project two. So please make sure that you're being really proactive with that process. Get those interviews scheduled, get them done, get that data so that you can really engage with our essay writing for project two. If you're not able to get a hold of your person, you might have to find a different person. I know that's a really big bummer at this point in the project, but like I said, you can't complete project two without an interview. Um, so please reach out in a lot of ways. Keep reaching out. Hopefully you'll be able to get in touch with your person and schedule some form of interview. Um, but if that is not the case, you may need to consider finding an alternative person to create the profile on um, because uh, a successful profile must have an interview. Um, so that's what we're working on. You're going to be creating those drafts for me and for the peer review on the 17th. I'm going to be turning those into me. I'll give you feedback just like I did on project one. Uh, lots of good feedback, embedded feedback, rubric feedback, and a great book comment. So you've got a lot of information to work with. Uh, you're also going to be getting those peer reviews from your classmates, um, which is also incredibly helpful as well. You can also sign up for a help session with Sydney. She's going to be posting those times soon. Uh, so check the discussion boards to make sure that you know when that's coming up so that you can get that extra help if you would like. A uh, reminder on the peer reviews, uh, if you don't submit your essay on time, the system will not assign you people to peer review. It's very time sensitive. So if you submit your essay before midnight on the 17th, you will automatically be assigned two people to interview, or not interview, review. Uh, if you submit it any time after midnight on the 17th, you will need to send me an email and I will have to go into the system and manually assign you two people to peer review. So you'll wanna do that very, very quickly so that you can get those reviews completed, earn points for the project, all of that good stuff. Um, as always, if you have any questions, reach out. Sydney and I are here to help and we're here to support you on your academic journey here at ASU. Have a great day, guys, and happy writing.